Hi guys, welcome. Today we will be learning how to draw and paint this beautiful girl chef. So the first step that I'm going to do is to draw out my um, avatar. So what I'm doing over here is starting out with the shape of the face and then creating the hat on top of it and then going ahead with the hairstyle, the neckline, the expressions. Feel free to make anything that you feel like. You can change the shape of the face. You can also change the shape of the hat. You can also make a boy if you want to, if that's what you want to do. You can decide the length of your apron. Since I'm making a cartoon version over here, I'm going ahead with a slightly bigger face and a smaller body. One tip I can give you guys is if you find it hard to draw the hand and the fingers then just stop near the elbow and you can still continue the rest of your painting this way. Once your drawing is done you can lighten it by using an eraser or a kneaded eraser and make it lighter because we don't want it to be too dark on our paper. Also the paper that I'm using over here is 300 GSM. We are starting out first with the face. I'm using a very light brown. The palette that I'm using is um, by Art Philosophy and it's called Pastel Dreams. You can use any kind of watercolors that you have. So with cakes, what I find it very easy is um, uh, you don't have to waste too much of color. You can just create a very good painting using a slight amount of color. If you're a beginner and you're trying to create this, then Please have a swatch sheet next to you. After you mix your colors, make sure that you test it out on your swatch sheet and then apply it onto your artwork. So the style that I use normally is I create a base color and then depending on which side I want to show the shadow, I use a darker color and create the shadow either on the left side or the right side of it. Most of the time I create it on the left side. In this case, I'm creating a darker color for my apron. You can even change the colors, use as you like. If you want to show a white apron, go ahead and you don't have to color the entire apron in white. Uh, you just have to add the shadows either in gray or in blue. So you notice here, I've created the darker shade on the left side. growing with a lighter grey for my hairstyle and then I'm going to add the shading with some darker grey or with a shadow colour. You can change the colour of your hairstyle the way you like. If you notice, I don't paint any two objects or two sections which are right next to each other because there is a very high possibility that your colors would not have dried and they will seep into each other. For example, I did the face and then I did the apron, uh, the chef's hat. So none of these three sections touch each other. So by the time I went to the hairstyle, the face section had already dried off. And now that I'm doing the t-shirt, I know that my apron has dried. If you're not sure if whether it is dried or not, please just touch it or just uh, try probably dabbing a little bit of tissue and see whether it is dried or not. I'm using miniature brushes to add in details for my nose and my eyes. Now this is something that you don't have to take the risk of unless you have these kind of thin brushes. So in this case you should have a round brush on the size of 0, 00, 000, any of these lower sizes. Only then it is possible to create it. In case you don't have it then please use a micron or use any black pen or any brown pen to add in the details. So here I am again using my miniature brush and I'm going to create the outline so you can see that a very thin finish is possible uh, through these brushes. The ones that I'm using are from Brustro. I'll leave the link in the description so if you want to get it you can go ahead and pick it. The beauty of watercolors is always in the details. You can see that uh, the entire face now has come to life by just adding a little bit of 
uh, outline or details around the edges and uh, some texture to the hair. I prefer to use black for the outline of most of my artwork but you can also use a brown if you want for the case of uh, skin and also for the different sections of um, your various clothes which are there just use a darker color for everything I use a black throughout I'm going to now add a sea green color to my background so what I normally like doing is leaving a little bit of white space around my object and then color the background you can also create your background in the beginning and then fill in the details of your character um, either ways is fine just feel free and do the way that you like It's very therapeutic to create artwork using watercolors. I hope that you guys also fall in love with this medium as much as I do and create a lot of beautiful art. You don't have to have the most expensive material with you. You can start off with a very basic set. Try and get an artist's grade and not a student grade because your pigments will not be very nice in the student grade. The mix of the colors will not be very good. So an artist's grade is preferable. Here's the final look. Hope you had fun making this with me.